Alright. Try to adjust this ever so slightly. Alright. <clears throat> so what's going on everybody? Here to give you guys this week's installment of Tabloids and Trending Topics with T. Um, I know that I'm probably going to say this several times in this uh, <clears throat> video, but if you guys are wondering, um, you know, where is uh, the tea spilling persona? Like I said, I am actually on a 24-hour duty right now. I decided to help out a co-worker and what's going on? Um, do the duty, like take it from her because uh, she actually has something to do tomorrow. So given that and the amount of time it took to go from there to over here, like y'all even see the light setup is not how it normally is. So didn't have a whole lot of time to do what I normally do. So yeah, y'all getting regular old me this week, but you know, hopefully y'all can bear with me. I know y'all probably want a tea spilling back this week, but you know, hey, shit happens. So <laughs> well, like I said, I I'm I was actually a few minutes behind, but you know, we 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 gonna we gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. So And with that being said, that's also part of the reason why I'm drinking soda. Like I said, I y'all 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 already know what it is and what I do, so you know I can't be intoxicated. So like I said, we we gonna push through this one today. We gonna push through. So open this up the way that I open up every last uh, tablet trending tiles with tea with prayers. Um, <clears throat> Beyonce, y'all know I give her a hard time over here, but she uh, lost her uncle. He passed away, so you know, uh, prayers are uh, sent out to the uh, Knowles family. And uh, Baltimore Ravens uh, cornerback uh, Trey Walker died in a uh, dirt bike accident. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. Um, it was said that uh, his bike didn't have headlights, um, he had no helmet, and he was wearing dark clothes, and it was around, I think. Uh, it was a uh, seven. It was past seven. Uh, I think it was like seven fifty at night. Um, all that I'll say to that is, you know, like well, one of course, our uh, prayers and condolences out to his uh, family because uh, he passed away. He was fighting for his life, but he passed away at the hospital. But um, just a reminder to uh, everyone out there. Um, first and foremost, if you don't ride a bike when you're driving, make sure that you are <clears throat> looking for you know like look twice because uh a vehicle actually collided with him but make sure you guys are looking twice for those who um do ride <clears throat> um regardless of what time of day it is try to wear something reflective uh the fact that his uh bike didn't have he uh, headlights that right there is also something that you might want to have and you know not wearing a helmet no um it wasn't really specified everything that happened um it was a uh, Baltimore Ravens cornerback Trey Walker, but um, but even like I said, because we don't know if him wearing a helmet would have made a difference. But again, wearing the proper protective uh, equipment is important. So prayers and you know a little, I guess we could say safety public service announcement. All right, so now that we got the heavy shit out the way, okay, heavy shit out the way. Let's go ahead and get into the fuck shit. Now, y'all already know at the end, I'm going to ask y'all who going to take the L of the week and who going to take the win of the week. So, y'all keep all this in mind. So, let, let's talk about light-skinned motherfuckers and their feelings. And y'all got to excuse me. Y'all know I'm still trying to work on some shit while I'm getting my new tripod and stuff. So, I'm sorry. So... Matt Barnes, get y'all light skin feelings. Matt Barnes, um, let me see. Uh, he lost it during a uh, a, a game, and um, pretty much from what I understand, Henson. So um, I think it, uh, John Henson, I, I guess, I uh, slapped a uh, layup out of his hand, and this thing keep falling, y'all. Hold on, hold hold the hell on. Let's see if that works. All right, so slapped the ball out of his hand when he was going up for a layup. And, you know, eventually they both got ejected from the game. So as they're walking down the tunnel, he just decides that he was just going to chase after him. And 
later doing a press conference, uh, it showed that uh, Henson had a bruise on his face. Now, <clears throat> even though I'm saying the man is in his life, skin feels and everything, I'm going to say this. I've only mentioned, and y'all, I know y'all be like, how does these two people correlate? Just follow me here. I've only mentioned Cat Williams once on here. And that's only because I was agreeing with some of what he was saying. But outside of that, everything else Cat Williams related, I have not brought up. Because I don't think it's quite uh, funny <clears throat> to comment on uh, mental illnesses. Because I do believe that there is something going on with him. And that rather than to, you know, sit back and laugh at him, we should be praying for him and hoping that those around him will push him to where he needs to get help. I think the same thing for Matt Barnes, because I don't know what the fuck is going on with him, what's going on. Like, I know I got people talking in my head. I'm pretty sure he got more people in his head talking, and I don't think they are on the same fucking accord. So, you know, whew, I don't know. A nervous breakdown. Okay, well, then what the fuck is Matt Barnes doing? Going over to his ex's house and, you know, sitting here, you know, put, putting the, you know, works on... You know, his ex-best friend, coach, you know, beating the flu flops off his ass, beating the brakes off his ass, amongst all this other shit. Like, I'm pretty... You know what? Maybe Cat is having a midlife crisis. I don't know. I And, I mean, again, and but that's just how I feel. Like, I'm not... Even though I talk about a lot of celebrity drama, gossip, all this other stuff... I, I talk about a lot of this to kind of make fun of a lot of it, but when it comes to stuff like that, where it's like like people mental states and whatnot, I I'm not gonna do it. I'm not, and unlike the rest of the world, I'm not gonna sit here and kick someone else, especially another melanated brother, while he or she is down. Not gonna do it. What I'm saying with him is this shit is funny, but bruh man needs some help. Real talk, bruh man needs some help. So. All right, let, all right, we we finna talk about two um late greats. Okay, first I'm gonna talk about Miss Whitney Houston. Then I'm gonna talk about Mr. Michael Jackson. So let's go ahead and talk about Mother Whitney. Now, it has been reported that a documentary about Whitney Houston's substance abuse is pretty much going to be produced and is going to make its way to Showtime. So Showtime is going to do a documentary pretty much about the rise and the fall of Whitney Houston, but mostly focusing on her drug addiction. I feel some kind of way about that. It's like, one, just, just like, I just don't want to see it. And it's it's like, can we just let her rest in peace? Can, can we can we just leave it alone? If there were many opportunities for movies such as this to have come out and with everything that's going on, especially, I don't know why they're doing it. I really don't know why they're doing it. I mean, it is way too soon, but in general, I think they should just let Sleeping Dogs lie. Just leave it where it's at. And I really do feel that whoever is doing it or whoever's going to do it is just trying to capitalize off of her name and trying to make money off of her name and her situation. And I'm not here for it. I'm really not. Even if I did have Showtime, I wouldn't watch it. Like, I, I really do think that that is just... I don't... I, I really can't think of the right word to describe it, but it just ain't right. You feel me? And hold on, y'all finna... Flip the camera, see how this work. Okay, well, that really, that helped, but it didn't help. Whatever, screw it. I'm going to just leave it the way it is. But I just want, so while I'm getting ready to talk about Senor Michael, how many, like, what do y'all feel about that story? Yeah, I got you. But because that because that made up a, I'm not gonna say it made up a lot, but because it was so interesting for the general public, they know that if they talk about that, it's going to draw people in, you know. Hey, hey, Quay, I want them to know. I, I mean, of course, let's focus on the voice, but it's one of those where if we're going to tell her story, let's tell her story. 
like to do a, a, a true Whitney Houston movie, it would have to be like the Jackson Five. Well, we gonna have to sit here for a little while, you know, to you know truly understand what she went through. But I'm I'm not a fan. I don't know. I I think they're just doing too much. But the real question is, because I've already told y'all that I'm not going to watch it. How many of y'all are going to watch it? Because I'm not. I'm not watching it on YouTube. I ain't, I ain't watching it on shit. Okay. Oh, wow. Hey, okay, ain't nobody watching. All right. Oh, okay, they, they could have, but it, it okay, it was on Lifetime. Okay, we ain't we ain't even gonna talk about Lifetime or how to be fucking up biopics or biopics. How the fuck y'all want to say we? Mm -mm, no, not today, not today. All right, so Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson. With him, we all know that he has bought. Um, pretty much a massive catalog back in 1985, all right? And that catalog cost $41.5 million. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> we all know that with that, he had the rights to a lot of music, making him one rich man. But at the same exact time, it severed a relationship between him and... I forget the boy's name, but old boy from the Beatles. It fucked up their relationship. And I think it's because... Michael wasn't willing to give them the rights to their song since he paid for it. But my whole thing is this, damn it, I paid for it, so it's mine. But I can see how and why it could destroy a relationship. But that's not what we're talking about. Paul McCarty, there it is. Thank you, thank you. But that's not what we're talking about. But I did just kind of want to bring it up because here's the, the meat and taters of, of the whole thing. He, apparently, allegedly, because I still need to dig a little bit more to see if this is actual factual, but allegedly, his estate sold this catalog for $750 million. We don't stop that before I say the last little bullet that I wrote down. Now, he bought it. Uh, damn, you ain't even gonna let me get through the rest of said The Jackson took the <laughs> shit. <laughs> fuck, you, you ain't even gonna let me get to the end. I was just like, fuck it, they got the L. Like, I got it. He bought it for 41.5 mil. You know, inflation and everything. Cool, got it. But this is one of those where all the songs, the royalties, and everything, if somebody wants a sample of beat, they're making money. It's one of those where, with this catalog, money was... They were still making money. Not just off the catalog, but off his estate alone. And it's one of those where I really do believe... Oh, down the drain, baby. Down the drain. Exactly. Exactly. And, you know, it's like there has to have been some type of divide in the family. And my question is, when they say the estate, I wonder, like, is it one person that made the decision or was it like one of those where everybody voted on it? Like, I don't I really don't understand it. And this was if this has to be the most foolish decision that I have ever fucking heard you know but <clears throat> it is what it is it is what it is you know like i said i'm pretty sure you know mother glove is rolling around in his grave right now you know shout out so much love for that mother glove is rolling around in his grave right now just like i can't believe these simple headed ass motherfuckers and sat here and sold this catalog that i done worked hard to buy and sold this shit I don't know if she is. And the only reason why I say this is because it has been said that the proceeds are going to go. Oh, I know. Pissed all the way off right now. Um, the proceeds are going to Catherine and his three children. So I don't know. And it's one of those where I don't think that Catherine is hurting for anything. So I don't know. I really don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm perplexed, okay? I'm I'm confused. I'm bewildered. I'm a whole lot of shit right now because it, it's stupid. You know what? Probably. I wouldn't put it past Joe. I wouldn't put it past Joe, but... But, 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 but honestly, what do y'all feel about that? Because <clears throat> I already got it. 
you know, so I, I think we, I, I, we're not going to vote just yet, okay? They, I know they're not hurting either, but we're going to wait to vote on who got the L of the week, but, you know, I read that shit. I was just like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> the fuck over? I was too damn through. I was too through. All right. <clears throat> Moving on, and this might give y'all a little bit of a hee hee kiki -ki and all that good jazz. So Rihanna is being honored at the BET Black Girls Rock uh, event. This is going to air on five April. Now I've I haven't seen the whole Black Girls Rock thing because I mean, like I said, when it came on, I was in the states and I just didn't really know what all of the comp is. So. Her being honored, I don't know if she's just getting the award or if people are going to get up on stage and perform her songs. I don't know. But they're honoring her, and it makes me wonder. Riri, you you pay uh, BET a lot of dust. Now, I ain't mad, because like I said, BET is no longer black-owned, so I understand. But do y'all think she's going to show the fuck up? Y'all think she gonna come out to where, 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 I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if she gonna be there. I don't see her being there. I really don't. May, maybe she might have a representative from the Navy to uh, get up there and um, receive that award on her behalf. But I don't know. I don't know. But congrats to Miss Rihanna. Con congrats to her. Congrats to her. Now... I want to talk about, oh, give me a sec. Got to grab another beverage. So, I want to talk about one of the baddest motherfuckers to ever do it. I mean, one of the baddest motherfuckers. I'm, 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 I want to talk to y'all about a motherfucker with his motherfucking passport picture slays on y'all asses, okay? Before I, before I even ask, do you know who I'm talking about? Yeah, I got them ticket sales. I'm talking about a brother who who, who slays y'all, who slays. But y'all don't know who I'm talking about, so I'm, I'm going to tell you who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Prince, okay? I'm talking about Prince, and some of y'all might be like, what? If y'all don't know about Prince, y'all ain't going to never go know about him. But Prince is writing his memoirs. He has decided that he wants to go ahead and talk about his life. And it's going to be penned in such a way that... It is very artistic. And we all know Prince is on a, mentally, artistically, everything else is on a different level. So I can't wait to see how he's going to take his artistry and tell his, because I'm pretty sure he's going to tell his life in such a poetic, theatrical way. And more, more, more than likely is probably going to uh, translate into film. But, um... I don't know how I feel about it, though, because we all know Prince was a hoe. Now, or was it? No, well, no, he was more of a whore. No, he was a whoremonger. That's what he was a whoremonger. That, that, that's what Prince was. I don't know how I feel about him sitting here uh, telling us about his uh, <laughs> about his sexual escapades. I don't think that all these women want, want their business put out there. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Whew. I, I mean, <laughs> but apparently the, uh, oh, damn. yeah, he was internationally known, but, uh, the, um, interim title is supposed to be called the beautiful ones, but we still don't know. So again, a majority of what I sell here is alleged, but if if he actually does come out with it, I think that I would probably get it just to see, you know, just, just see how it all goes. All right. Ashley, do I want... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to talk about this next. Okay. I want to talk about a woman by the name of Ashton Wilson. Now, I want all of you to think about somebody whose last name is Wilson and put two and two together to figure out who Ashton Wilson is. That's, that's if y'all pay attention to the blogs and all this other shit and what's been going down in the last week involving somebody with the last name of Wilson. Whew. 
Well, Ashton Wilson is Russell Wilson's ex. <laughs> Dusty ass. She said, Dusty. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ooh, shit. Y'all not finna kill me today. Y'all, y'all not, y'all not gonna kill me. Y'all not gotta go back to work. So, we all know that last week, Russell and Sierra broke the intranet with the engagement. Then we all know that Future got in his bag, got in his feelings, and posted that picture of him covering up the C tattoo, saying C no Evo, which we all know was love spelled backwards, okay? Now, <clears throat> Ashton, I guess, felt that she wasn't finna be outdone, not by Sierra and not by Future. So, <clears throat> she decided to change her profile picture on her Twitter Showing her eight carat ring, which happens to be three carats less <clears throat> than what Sierra had. And I'm like, oh, that is so cute. I'm trying to figure out when the fuck did you take that picture? You still got that motherfucking ring? Did you pawn it? <clears throat> I'm about to say, better, you know what? Better as she and Future should go ahead and date each other because that right there is some petty ass shit. You change, you change your profile pic to show you where to show a ring. Of somebody who didn't want you, that somebody who went on to bigger and better sign a more lucrative deal after you then went on to, you know, see Era dancing on them hoes, princess. I'm just saying. Like, I'm trying to figure out like like what was the purpose in doing that? Was it that you didn't want to be upstaged by future or was it that she didn't want to be upstaged by Sierra? And then you went until now to sit here and put and put the ring out there all oh, because oh okay. Somebody hating, y'all. Somebody is hating. How y'all feel about that? Because I read this shit. I laugh. Oh, she cheat. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tell it. <laughs> well, hey. I mean, I, and I, I guess this the shade was supposed to be he got me an eight carat while you got a five carat. Yeah. Yeah, they paid. That's why I said they should go ahead and date each other. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Maybe they will make a cute couple. But I read that. I was like, oh, that is funny. That is cute. <clears throat> oh, mm-mm. Now, now, now y'all know we're going to leave Ray J out of this, okay? We're we, we going to let that sleeping dog lie. Now, <clears throat> since uh, Ray J name got brought up, and because, you know, I wasn't going to talk about love and hip-hop, but since you brought up Ray J name, because I wasn't going to talk about love and hip-hop, I'm going to talk about some love and hip-hop right now. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, love and hip-hop Atlanta. Now, we know this show comes back on on the 4th. If I'm not mistaken, that's in two weeks. The reunion of New York is tomorrow. Okay, well, you know, okay, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, but you, well, here's the, if I find it, I might do a redux to this, okay? Bet, bet, better yet, um, just, like, tweet the shit to me, whatever. Like, if you find it, like, tweet it to me, IG it to me, some shit, so I can read it. Because what I can do is I can always come back and record it and then put this on the very end of it. You know what I'm just saying. So, from Love and Hip Hop ATL, how many of y'all remembered uh, Skeletor? Wait, that's not her name. That's not her name. I said Skeletor. I'm sorry. That's not her. What is her name? You know, the bitch with the caved in face, you know, her, her right there. You know, with, with, with half her head shaved off and shit. Uh, was it Mar Simpson or was it Mar Simpson? Margo. Margaroos. How the fuck you say her name, but you spell it? was Margo. Yeah, it was Margo. This hoe. This hoe. Y'all remember when she was on the show that she had this song called Start a Wall. Right? Now, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta more or less aired last, well, not more or less, it aired last year. So we didn't heard this song. <laughs> Ooh, um, well, she finally decided to drop a video for Star War. The video actually dropped like six days ago. Now, I'm not gonna really do a video. Well, I'm gonna do somewhat of a review. I will say this: it's it's okay. 
it's okay. Some of the um, editing is, you know, like how they kind of like did some of the merging is nice, but I'm trying to figure out why she waited so long. She could have capitalized on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Now, there were some people <clears throat> on these walls that were saying that, you know, it costs a lot of money to make these videos. If y'all see some of her older videos, I'm pretty sure she paid quite a bit, and those videos were basic than a motherfucker. I'm not, and this is not me throwing shade. I'm just being completely fucking honest. Like, I don't, <clears throat> y'all get what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to be a dick right now. But I'm wondering, why would you wait so long, especially when ain't nobody thinking about you right now? And supposedly, <clears throat> based off the list, oh, okay, it, 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 it's way better than that da da shit. She don't do this shit. Yes, yeah, it's, it's way better than that. Way better than that. But it's one of those where you fucked up your money because you did, did the song on the show. You did a remix with Jessica Dime. All this other stuff. Why you want to wait two weeks before the new season comes out to drop this video? Now, it's rumored that maybe just maybe she thought that she was going to be back on the show and this is going to be her storyline. But whoops, from what we understand, she's not on the cast. But... <clears throat> we could be wrong. We don't know. She might just pop the fuck up. Her and Murica might pop up. I think that might have been a storyline. Her date in America. Murica, how the fuck you say that name? Whatever. And her EP is supposed to drop later on this year. So the video, like I said, it wasn't spectacular, but it was. I've seen way worse. Way worse. <clears throat> I'm still waiting for her to give me some vocals, but you know, that's not here nor there. So let's talk about some Black Ink crew as somebody from the Love and Hip Hop New York cast. Now, exactly, she should have, but I'm, I'm just saying she dumb. She she's dumb, real stupid. Anyway, so <clears throat> Black Ink crew. I have never watched Black Ink Crew. I think I might have to go back and watch the very first episode and get caught up for one reason. Yes, the reunion for uh, Love Hip Hop New York is tomorrow. Uh, I think the part one is tomorrow and part two is next week, and then we should roll right into uh, Love Hip Hop ATL. <clears throat> now, the reason I say that I want to watch Black Ink Crew because there's this girl, if y'all watch it, yeah, uh-huh, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, Margot was, is it, still married to Nico unless they got a divorce and Nico fuck me, me, uh, they did a sex tape, uh-huh, yep, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, that hoe, but Black Ink Crew, Sky, apparently Sky got into it <clears throat> with somebody from the Love of Hip Hop New York cast, which isn't far-fetched because both places are in the same damn state. And she got into better yet. I want y'all to guess. <clears throat> Think about it, everybody on Love and Hip Hop New York. Who do y'all think Sky got into it with? <laughs> you said sad. I know it. Y'all didn't want to play the game today. Y'all making me sad. <clears throat> All right. Well, since you guys don't want to play along, the person that. No, no, it wasn't Mo. That's I about to say think about think about the person who is the most unstable on the fucking show. That she could have got into it with. And I don't think and actually I don't even have the uh <clears throat> Oh, you only watch Chicago. I only watch Chicago too. But uh it was um okay. <clears throat> Cardi would have been a good guess, but it was actually Rashida. She got into it with Rashida. Apparently, it was over a um, <clears throat> eyelash line. Oh, okay, okay. And um, apparently, they got into it. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this fight is supposed to be shown on um, this season of Black Ink Crew. And <clears throat> Rashida had uh, did a post. Yeah, Rashida she had she uh, did an IG post. Added Sky. And made a comment along the lines of you're arguing, arguing over a line that isn't even your line. And Sky pretty much clapped back just like, don't make me get you off camera. Because then it's really going to be something. Something along those lines. And I'm just like, ooh. 
<clears throat> and this is how you know this shit real when mother is talking about something. We can do it without the motherfucking cameras around. That's how you know this shit is uh, for wheels. So I'm like, okay. All right. Look like some shit that I would like to see. So <clears throat> it's now, now th if y'all, if y'all haven't, if y'all can't tell, this is probably going to be a, re a real quick one because y'all, I said, I got to get back to work and shit. Because I'm almost done, so don't don't be sad, but I'm not trying to hold y'all up this uh, Sunday afternoon. But uh, let's talk about everybody's uh, second favorite rapper on this, uh, this segment over here. So let's go ahead and talk about, we're not done yet, but we're close. Let's go ahead and talk about uh, Kibbles and Bits. Now... I'm finna read y'all a quote that Kibbles and Bits tweeted. And I I, I want to... I'm gonna let y'all go in and let have before I, before I even think to say anything. So this is what he said. Haven't started yet. All capital yet. I have been recording music since I was taping 106 in part before. Just haven't released any of the product. With that said, now that I'm done filming season two of CSI, I will keep my word and give y'all a 10 song EP. No, <clears throat> I'm sorry, no title, no date yet. This will be my last music project of my career. Everything you wanted to know, the rumors, the relationship, everything, I saved the answers for the album. Wait on it. <clears throat> I'ma let y'all have it. I'ma let y'all have it. <clears throat> Cause if I was really trying to figure out like motherfucker, is you serious? This motherfucker serious, y'all. So he says that he's been recording music since one of his apart, and I don't deny that. I know there's a lot of artists that they record so much music, but by virtue of whatever theme the album is going to be, so much of that music never gets released. Okay, I I, I got I got y'all, <clears throat> but here's the thing. <laughs> but he says that this will be my last music project of my career all in caps with an exclamation point at the end now i'm just like bro uh you no, no you can you can just save it i i think we're good yeah yeah well he should just focus on his acting and leave it at that. I mean, because that train has already left. That that train is in, is in another motherfucking city right now. Like, <clears throat> he really needs to stop. But here's the kicker, which I was like, you think you slick. So he says, let me, let me call him directly. Everything you wanted to know, the rumors, the relationships, everything. I've saved those answers for the album. So what he's trying to do is, if y'all want to know about all the juiciness that is my life, Buy my album when it comes out. Well, I'm not buying it. <laughs> oh, 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 we, we, oh, we gonna be all right. Definitely without it. Definitely without. It. I'm just like that's cute. You know, I, I can tell y'all what happened. This, this is what happened. See, Kibbles and Bits went over to um <laughs> out of my sister. Kibbles and Bits went over to Mars Simpson's house. Uh, y'all, y'all know, uh, government cheese when she was rocking the blue hair and wore that thing that said, you know, uh, you know, you, you know what she was telling everybody to go buy my album. Cause I went independent. So he was, so, you know, kid was a bitch went over there. just like, well, how can I sit here and promote my album? That's not finna come out. And you know, she pretty much told him, well, see, all you gotta do is just sit here and bait them in with, you know, you gonna tell them like, that's what the fuck happened. I believe that's what happened. That's what I believe. But ain't nobody checking for oh pinto yes pinto beans yeah government cheese yes yeah government cheese yeah quiche code government cheese you know government cheese pork and beans and hot dogs mm -hmm, powdered milk yes yes 
Yes, yes. That's, y'all, y'all know y'all know who I'm talking about. We we not finna play around, y'all. Okay. <laughs> All my food <laughs> Ah, ah. Woo. So, yeah. <clears throat> All right, y'all. So, I'm gonna just leave it alone. <clears throat> I'm like, I'm really hoping that I don't have to talk about kibbles and beds and poke beans and hot dogs next week. Okay, I really don't want to talk about cottage porridge next week. Okay, I I, I don't want to talk about them next week. I just don't. Okay. Hopefully they can do me a favor and stay out of the blogs for one fucking week. Just one damn week. So, these next three stories. <laughs> these next three stories are. We're going to have a hoot. And I'm going to give y'all in descending order of how I'm going to talk about it. We're first going to talk about Jared Fogle. Then we're going to talk about Mariah Carey and her family. Then we're going to talk about Amber Rose and Kanye West. So let's start with Jared Fogle. <clears throat> now we all know that Jared <clears throat> got locked up, you know, for the child pornography and all this other shit. And, I, and we all were sitting back just waiting to hear, you know, about the time that Jared was going to get a $5 foot long. I don't want to talk about Hulk Hogan. Mm -mm. I, 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 ain't, I ain't talking about the Hulk, man. Not today. But now, with all this being said, Jared has not received a $5 foot long. He hasn't. It's only a matter of time. But he received something that was, um, that was uh, equally what we all have been waiting for. Now, there was a 60-year-old man. 60-year-old man. Named Stern Nig, N I G G. Well, Stern decided that he was going to ambush Jared Fogle on the prison yard, and long story short, beat that ass, beat the brakes off that ass. Okay, like I, he was a little bit blood. He was blooded, scuffed up. You were surprised by me. <laughs> But beat that ass. And part and part of the reason that it happened is uh Stern's whole thing is he <laughs> that seems funny. He um the, he doesn't like that there's a lot of pedophiles that happen to be in this particular um prison and it's somewhat low security and I guess he just had enough and was just like, you know what, fuck this, fuck this dude, I'm finna beat his ass. Now, he's in the hole, which we kind of expected that. But um, if I'm not mistaken, I think that um, uh, Jared is sentenced to, I think, like 16 years. So this right here is one of many fucking ass whoopings that he need to get ready for. And Charlemagne, exactly. It's, but I'm, you know what? It's it's probably gonna happen. It's probably gonna happen. <clears throat> and Charlemagne made a comment. I'm not gonna call him directly, but Charlemagne is happy to know. <laughs> yeah, is happy to know that um, they like pretty much the uh, prison system. They still have their uh, code of ethics. You feel what I'm saying? That they uh still um have certain morals. Where it's just like you, most people think what. Prisoners having morals, yeah. Like a lot of these prisoners, they might have killed somebody, did all this other shit, but they not playing around with the little booty holes of little girls and little boys. And and a, and a pedophile slash rapists are the worst people in you know in the prison world. You are the scum of all scum, the scum of all scum. So and a lot of people are not okay. Not a lot of people, but you got some people that feel some kind of way about Charlemagne. Uh, I guess we could say bathing, <laughs> bathing in Jerry's pain, but it's not that. You can't sit here and cause uh, irreversible pain to children because they're innocent. These are children. They don't know any better. <clears throat> You're doing this to them. My whole thing is this. He deserves way. He deserves a hell of a lot more than that simple motherfucking beatdown. And again, he's in jail. I'm gonna just say generally. Let's just say for ten years. He's gonna be in jail for ten years. 
I hope Jerry don't think this is the first and only ass whooping that he gonna get. This is gonna be the first of many. First of many. So I'm not, you know, swimming in nobody's pain. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Well, you know, here's the thing. I, I mean, Martha Stewart was just, you know, getting that money. Martha Stewart wasn't sitting here playing around with no motherfucking body. You know, and even if he did, regardless of what prison or jail you go to, people still have those those um, morals. And I'm sorry. He's at the bottom of the list. Bottom of the list, so better get ready, Jared. Better get ready. They need to treat his ass like motherfucking, you know, why off of motherfucking haves and have nots, but they ain't none of my business. It's not a surprise. It is not a surprise. <clears throat> okay, so let's talk about the Carey family. <laughs> He was set up though, but uh when he got his manhood taken, that yeah, that wasn't in the plan, we all know, but that's not here nor there. I'm just saying that <clears throat> he needs to be humbled. That's all I'm saying. He needs to be humbled. I'm surprised too. I think maybe just maybe they were trying to get him that false sense of security, like nothing was going to happen to him. And I guess they were probably waiting for uh him to drop his guard and hey. Got him. Okay, so Mariah Carey. <clears throat> Back in 2000, her sister Allison um, attempted to write a tell-all book about her sister. Now, it came out that, in essence, this was an attempt for her to get money out of Mariah. Where it's just like, I won't write this tell-all book if you throw me some money. But she later sold a story about her family to the National uh Inquirer. And it's no secret that uh, her sister is pretty much a hoe, okay? And um, in early 2015, her sister Allison wrote a, um, excuse me, ugh, wrote a uh, letter to uh, Star Magazine trying to get Mariah to, like, be back in her life. Pretty much saying that, because she said something along the lines of, you know, money would help but all I want is my sister back. Mariah paid that ass dust. <clears throat> she has HIV. I was, I was going to get there, but I don't know when she was diagnosed with HIV, but she has HIV. She has been fighting it. And damn it. And you know what? Let, not, hold on, because I, I got to find it. So I'm going to need y'all to bear with me. So I'm going to sit here. I'm going to talk to y'all for a second because I need to find the actual article. Only because, um, what? <clears throat> no, 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 she, no, she's still alive. She's still alive, but, um, her brother then got into it and shit. Yeah, her, her, her sister is, uh, like I said, I mean, <clears throat> okay. Well, while I'm looking for this, y'all, hold on. No, I'm close. There it is. Found it. Okay. <clears throat> so her brother is upset that Mariah is not helping. Mariah is quote unquote, or well, not quote unquote, but she's refusing to assist her sister Allison with uh, medical bills and things of that nature for her HIV treatment. Now, I didn't either, but you know, hey. I, don't, I care. I care about Mimi, not about not about her uh, needy uh, brother and sister. So here's what her brother uh, Morgan uh, said. He uh, he said this to the son. She probably spends more money on dog food than it would cost to make sure her sister gets proper care. Now here's the thing: we finna do some back and forth. I'm gonna give y'all story time. We finna just we we just gonna talk. We we just gonna talk. Exactly. She is. It's not just that. Look, look, we're we going to fucking talk. 
before we even fucking get there, what people fail to realize <clears throat> is Mariah has spent money sending her fucking sister to rehab. Many fucking times. You not finna diss press like, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Mm-mm. But she had said she had paid money to send her sister to rehab many times. Her sister shit on that money. Mariah has also put her children through college. That has come out of Mariah's fucking pockets. And my whole thing is this. Mariah is not, as you said, obligated to sit here and support her family in any way, shape, or form. And my thing is this. I'm siding with Mariah shit. If I done sat here and I done paid to try to get your ass off drugs and you shit on my money and I done put your kids, even though they're my niece and nephew, I done put your kids, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm, I mean, now, Morgan has his own beef and we're going to get to it in a second. And you know what? I got that. But here's the thing. They need to, like, because I'm trying to figure out why the fuck is he, is he in Mariah's pockets? Better yet, Bruh, what have you said in reference to you helping your sister with her own fucking medical business? Better yet, my thing is this. You know, life is all about... Yes, 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 I am. Because my thing is this. <clears throat> Mariah didn't tell her sister to go out there and, you know, lay a low spread a while. Mariah didn't tell her to have her motherfucking legs to the moon. Mariah didn't tell her to sit here and get doped up and shit and go sit here and fuck all these random ass motherfuckers. Mariah did not tell her sister to do none of this. So the fact that she contracted a disease because she decided to, sit, to be fucking loose. Hey, you get what you put out. So you decided to, yeah, you know what? I, I'm going to tell you why the brother has something to say in a minute. But it's one of those where just because there's one celebrity or one person that's doing better in the family, most families feel that, oh, you're supposed to sit here and take it. No, 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 no. That's not how this go. No, 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 no. But I'm, I'm going to keep reading. <clears throat> he says, your sister is dying and she is struggling and where are you? You think you are so famous, but you are a witch. Now, um, if you're trying to sit here and get your sister to help out, calling her a witch ain't going to help, bro. Okay. You, you feel what I'm saying? Like, and at the same exact time, so you not fit acknowledge the, yeah, a witch. It's not, not a bitch, but a witch. A witch, straight up witch. But you can't, and it's like, he's not even holding his sister, older sister, to what the fuck she did. Because the sister wanted to apologize back in 2015, like, I'm sorry, but you can't sit here and sell a falsified stories because you try to sit here and come up on your sister. Because you'll, because, no, no, mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. I ain't having it. But we're not done. We're not done. He also says, I told Mariah my wife had miscarried and she never responded to that email either. Now, my whole thing is this. <clears throat> if that's the case, I'm not even going to say I'm mad at Mariah. I'm not because Mariah is not obligated to sit here and respond to email. Would it be nice for her to be like, you know what? My condolences, this, that, and the third. But here's another thing. How do you know that? Oh, oh, I, I know. Trust, trust. I'm, I'm good with the cutoff game. But who said that Mariah, Mariah read the email? One and two. It's one of those where, <clears throat> I, you know what? Fuck it. They need to go to family therapy. Go, go on VH1 to go to family therapy because I'm pretty sure there, because this is one of them stories where there is so much that's not being said. And I think Mariah is trying to save face. Mariah is not trying to sit here and expose more about her family because I'm pretty sure there is more to this story than, you know, is being put out there. Apparently he wanted Mariah, I guess he wanted Mariah to just be like, oh, I'm sorry for your loss. Condolences. I don't know. But again, you can't want her to help and you're trying to paint her to be whatever. Because my whole thing is this. <clears throat> she laughing with all the money that she got in the bank. She laughing with this motherfucking show that's about to air on TV. She laughing with these shows, baby. She's not. She is not. But it gets better. 
But that's typical because the world has to revolve around Mariah and there is no room in the world apart from her. I have not spoken to Mariah in two and a half years. I only heard she was getting married through social media. I don't even think Mariah is in love with James. She's only in love with herself. She is even not, not, not hit his hit. Okay, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. I don't even think <clears throat> Mariah is in love with James. Why the fuck you bring her dude into this, bro? Why, like, like that? Bro, it's one of those questions. Like, if you gonna talk about your sister, talk about your sister. Why, why you bring her dude in this? You feel me? Like, now it's getting to that point where it's like, okay, you full of shit, homie. Yeah, that's exactly why she didn't know it. But you full of shit, and then you call her evil. So first she's a witch, now she's evil. He further goes on to say, Mariah, I'm sorry, she has always been that way. It's her five million engagement ring she's in love with. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> he ain't getting, you know, I'll be surprised if Mariah responds to this. I will be so fucking surprised. There's more. It's so tragic that while she is out flashing her big diamond ring to anyone who will pay attention, she can't lift a finger to help her dying sister. Bruh. Exactly. But it ain't even, but it's like, so you mad that she flung off her and you said she can't lift a finger to, but did she not try to get this bitch through rehab though, bruh? Did she not sit here and put her children through college, bruh? Like, again, it's one of those where I love how people have selective fucking memory. I fucking love, and love is me being sarcastic, but I fucking love that shit. Fucking love it. They want they want Mariah to sit here and dump all of their money into helping this sister. And my and I, I'm not mad at Mariah because I, I really like to believe that Mariah did everything she could. And, you know, you can only take advantage of somebody for so long. For so long. Almost done, y'all. The money I'm talking about is just small change to these people. <clears throat> yeah, similar rivalry. And this, and then he ends with this. Why isn't our... <laughs> Why is it our millionaire sister and her billionaire fiance helping out? What the fuck he gotta do with this shit? Like again, first you sit here and bring his like her fiance ain't got shit to do with you, bruh. Not a damn thing, bro. <laughs> Let me read this damn last last so I get the fuck off these motherfuckers because they, they not finna kill my ass today. I think she could at least manage to put our sister in a good hospital and make sure she gets the care she needs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You said nine to five. You talking about the Dan Ryan on Dan Ryan? But um. <sighs> I'ma say. It hasn't been said if her sister has AIDS or not, but um, if she has HIV, early, 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 early fucking stages, yes, her sister could do more, could, but I'm with Mariah. I think Mariah has done more than her fair share. You know, and at the same exact time, if she wasn't being, you know, the hoe that she was, this would not even be an issue. But you can't ask your sister to sit here and try to help, you know, clean your ass up in white and help erase the dumb shit that you have done. You know, like, I swear, I can't, I can't fucking stand people like this. I, I, I really can't. This shit, it, it's fucking beyond me. It is fucking beyond me. And you know what? Because, and this shit is even, it's on TV, people talking about it. I don't think her sister has anybody. I don't. Because, I mean, the way that she had been painted, you know, she's a hoe with HIV. Just saying. I don't think she has anybody. 
I, re I really don't. I mean, she was just one of those four hired. And the fact that she has HIV, don't nobody want that? Mm-mm. Don't, don't nobody want it? Who that that shit right there and took a lot out of my ass, y'all. That took a lot out of me. Because I, I swear, like, literally reading that shit, it was exhausting. Fucking exhausting. I, 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 I can't stand people like that. I can't stand stories like that. No clue, but they're, they're, they're not going to talk about what the kid's doing. It, it, ain't, it ain't about the kids. It, it's about shame and Mariah. That, that's what this is about. It's about shame and Mariah. Whew. Okay, let's go ahead and get, and get get done with the last of this fuck shit. So I can send y'all on y'all way. Okay. So let's go ahead and talk about Amber Rose. So a pen... Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, they're, they're they're definitely jealous. They definitely are, but really, what the fuck can you do? And actually, her sister Allison had already said that she was jealous of her younger sister Mariah. That's about it. That that's that's about it. Ain't gotta do shit but pray. All right, so you guys, insiders are claiming that Amber Rose is blackmailing Kanye West for millions. To keep his little kinky sex secret a secret. Now, um, let me see. I, it, I, it was Radar Online, and I'm going to just read this right here. Radar Online can exclusively reveal that Amber Rose is laughing all the way to the bank in wake up her social media war with her ex. Amber has so much dirt on Kanye, and it's well known she's been shopping her story to publishers and movie honchos for some time now. Now, Kim and Chris have decided to step in, and they'll pay what it takes to keep her quiet, said the insider of Kardashian and her mother. But it's going to cost the reality stars a pretty penny to buy Rose's silence. Amber Rose is rumored to be demanding $10 million to get this done. Now, first and foremost, if this is true, I ain't mad at Amber. Now, <laughs> well, see, here's the thing. It's not that he has anything to lose, but because Yetta, because Kanyetta is still attached to the Kardashian name, it's fucking with Chris's money. So Chris is going to do whatever she can to try to silence this shit as best as possible because it's fucking with their money. Now, again, I'm not mad at Amber, but what I am mad about is I think that Amber need to sit here and hike that damn price up, baby. Hike the price up. And this is why I say that. If she's trying to sell this to be a movie, okay, let's just say, for instance, the movie might cost her, let's just say, <laughs> this capitalized. The movie, let's just say, costs ten million dollars to make, right? Let's just say the ten mil. Do you know how many people gonna go out to see this movie? Cause it's gonna be rated R to see this movie, and all it's pretty much gonna be is nothing but exactly. Do you know? Do you? Do y'all not know how many people will go out and see this damn movie? Possibly see it twice. Seriously. So a ten million dollar movie is gonna make so much money. Yes, pimp get yes, the pimp is getting pimped, y'all. So with this being said, I be bones in the motherfucker just like Chris. You finna pay me more than ten million, baby. Oh, you finna pay me. Oh, you 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 gonna pay me? You go you gonna make sure that me and my son ain't gonna have to want for nothing. And if you not willing to pay, guess what? Them them checks, them them fucking office box checks. Them motherfucker, I we done bought the DVD and it's a part of our collection checks. It's gonna be sitting in my pockets just nicely. Now my question to y'all is, do are y'all side with Amber? Do y'all think she's doing the right thing? You you should be mindful. You should, you should but at, at the same exact time though, write a book. To, well, yeah, I mean you can write a book, but then it's the visual. You gotta see the visual. Well, it, I don't think it's necessarily extortion per se, 
I think it's one of those where I'm going to release this book. Oh, I'm going to put this out there. She's getting stopped like, no, don't do it. We will pay you. It's at this point where it's not extortion. It's just, okay, you're paying me to shut up. Got you. Just, I got you. But if somebody finna come to me, just like, hey, y'all, bro, it's real shit. I'm gonna pay you. Just don't go. Well, then, motherfucker, you finna pay me. <laughs> Color report. Like, like you, you finna pay me. You, you, you gonna sit here, you gonna throw some money in this, in these pockets. Not pockets, in these pockets, okay? Okay, you, 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 you gonna make, you gonna make sure my pockets are so heavy, I'm gonna have to sit here, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to crawl every damn way they so damn heavy. No, mm-mm. But I, I'm I'm not mad at it though. I am not mad at her shit. Make your money however the fuck you need to. Cause and his thing, she already told Kanye you can you can body by a stripper nigga. She might have to tell us the same thing to motherfucking Chris and to motherfucking uh Kim and what say whatever fuck you want to say about uh, Amber. Amber might show you a lot of her body. Amber ain't got fucked on um you know on the camera. But she about to sit here and make some of that uh, Ray J and Kim money now. Okay. She be she she best to she best to get that money. All right. So let's go ahead. Now we're pretty much done. Going to get into I have one bit of a uh, positive time to talk about, and I have some congratulations, and we're done. So positivity. Again, as I said early in this uh in this uh you know taping, y'all know a lot of days I don't see it for Beyonce, but I will lift someone up when I need to. I will tell them now when I need to. And like I said, I don't hate, I do appreciate. Well, Beyonce casted a uh, woman by the name of Jillian Mercado. She is a blogger with muscular dystrophy. So she has pretty much casted her to <laughs> forever but she has casted her to be the face of her online store and I I don't but I think that that is such a beautiful beautiful thing where Beyonce could have picked all these anorexic all these bulimic all these heroin crack whores to sit here and be models for her online store but she chose to pick, and the blog, like I said the blogger, she is very beautiful. She's very beautiful. But she does have muscular dystrophy. And the fact that she's willing to do that, you know what I'm saying? We're go and we can chalk it up to whatever we want to, whether it be publicity or whatever the case may be. But the fact that she is doing this is very remarkable. And I think it's a beautiful, beautiful thing, a beautiful gesture, regardless of what the reasoning behind it. I think it was a very, very beautiful thing to do. And I respect her wholeheartedly for that. Wholeheartedly. So, a little bit of posit positivity. And kudos to you, Miss Beyonce. All right, Miss Beyonce Knowles Carter. Congrats to you. And like I said, kudos to you. So, and again, you know, like I said, for all those mothers who think that, you know, because like I said, I did get... One video that I was talking about Beyonce and information video and whatnot, you know, I had somebody get a motherfucking video in the comments section talking about some you're just hanging on her because you wish you could be her. Not really, not at all. I, I enjoy every facet of me being me. But regardless of what the beehive may think, like I said, you know, I want to give her her props. And like I said, I do like I said, when I say it's a beautiful thing, you know, it, it, it's it's a beautiful thing. I ain't finna call her queen now. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm gonna say Queen B for, uh, you know, Jigsaw, okay? Jigsaw is the Queen B, okay? Jigsaw will forever be Queen B. Beyond me. All I can say is if y'all go back to that trending topics video, you will see that that person never got a reply. Left their ass pressed with no release. I'm not finna sit here and acknowledge bullshit such as that. You can leave whatever comments you want to. I'm just not going to entertain it, you know? So, slightly got chained right now, but that's only because, you know, people think that, you know, motherfucker jealous of Beyonce. I'm not. You know, like I said, I think the be I think out of all the Destiny's Child women, in my opinion, Latoya was the most beautiful. In my opinion. I've always loved Latoya, but that's a discussion for a different day. So, time for the congrats, you guys. So, a lot of people to congrats these days. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm glad you know who the fuck I was talking about. Okay, Betty and Pauls. Who? When I said Jigsaw, who, who the fuck y'all think I was talking about? I think he got it. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't think nobody knew who the fuck I was talking about because all the smooth is going to slide on by like I ain't saying. Okay, so... <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on. All right. Okay, let let let, let me leave little Kim alone. Let me leave. Yeah, yeah, Jigsaw. Yeah, that's that's who we talked about. Saw. Jigsaw, mm-hmm. Got little Kim looking like Jigsaw these days and shit. Looking like a geisha and shit. Memoirs of a geisha. Nick. Come on now, Kim. Kim. Uh, I, I, I miss Kim. I, I miss the old Kim, but you know it's it's okay. It's it's okay. I mean, you know, like like I said, you know, all, we we just gotta pray for Mulan, y'all. We just gotta pray for Mulan. Okay, hopefully, hopefully, you know, she'll get together. Hopefully, we can get we can get 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 back to the old Kim. But you know, right now we got we got Mulan. Okay, so we just gonna have to hold tight. We just gonna have to hold tight. But 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 we love but we love you, Kim. We love you. Okay, but we love you. <clears throat> <laughs> Woo! I'm just you know I'm just saying like shit. Kim that went through like five different nationalities. But go ahead, girl. She won't. She won't. She won't. I just need for her to get back in the studio and hit us with that motherfucking fire. Like I want her to literally just kind of give it to us. But it's okay. Like I said. Yeah, we, we still do love Miss Kim. Okay. So, time for the congrats, you guys. So, I have six people to congratulate today. So, first, y'all know I stopped seeing it for this hoe when she uh, went back to licking on Nene's clit. But Cynthia Bailey has been casted in the uh, fourth installment of Sci-Fi's Sharknado. So hopefully, you know, she can prove that she can act. I'm not going to watch it because I already watch sci-fi. But congrats to Miss Cynthia Bailey for um, getting an acting role. Um, well, I'm just saying, you know, she might. I mean, and she's starting to get a little thicker. So I don't know if she can, you know, be on the runway no more. But again, congrats to you. Congrats to you. Oprah Winfrey has um, has a reoccurring role on OWN. And it's a new drama called Green Leaf. So, Oprah decided that she want to come back and show y'all that she know how to act, you know, for those of y'all who forgot. So, she wants to remind y'all one good time. One good time, okay? <laughs> All right, so, Gloria Govan and Derek Fisher, they are, they are a official unit. They are officially together. They finally, you know, put their love on display. So, they are finally, you know, they're showing themselves. So, Congrats to them. Hopefully, Matt will sit his ass down. But all I'm gonna say is this: uh, Dirk, got you, you know, guard your face, bro. Guard your face. Um, Crystal, Renee, and Neo, of course, gave birth to their uh, son, and like I say he is a junior, so he is Schaefer Junior. Uh, somebody need to go ahead and uh, you know make sure that they uh, watch Moneta. You know, just watch her. I'm not saying she's gonna be on suicide watch. You feel me? Are you not getting them? Oh, I'm sorry. And we're almost done. I'm so sorry. But at the same exact time, even though I say Monday that might be on Suicide Watch last that I checked, y'all go back and watch a couple of, uh, you know, tabloids ago. Uh, she done pulled a nice uh, pente. So I don't think Monday are hurting for anything, okay? She ain't hurt for nothing. What else? All right, y'all. Keenan Thompson, if you guys remember him from all that and the Keenan and Kale show, Keenan is uh he will be um on Maya uh Rudolph's new variety show called Maya and Marty in Manhattan. Oh, most definitely, most definitely. So she need not even be paying attention to this. Need not be paying attention to this at all. But congrats to Keenan. Congrats, congr congrats, congrats to Keenan. Go ahead and make your money, pimpin'. Make your money. And the very last person is, uh, 
I I I'm, I meant to write down the um the day that this comes out. I think it comes out in May. I am not sure. I do apologize, but y'all can look it up. It's called the Maya and Mar. I'm sorry, Maya and Marty in Manhattan. And last but not least, singer Melanie Fiona gave birth to a baby boy. So now that she has this bundle, go ahead, hug on the baby, kiss the baby, feed the baby, all that stuff, and get your ass back in the studio. Okay? Back in the studio. All right, you guys. So that happens to be it. I said, I don't foresee myself um, being busy next Sunday, which means that... Y'all will get to see tea spilling. I am finishing up the scripts, which means that y'all will get the character profiles of the other five. And if all goes well, the very first episode of the show featuring the person eyes will air the following week. So fingers crossed that everything goes well. Fingers crossed. But before we cut out, we have to figure out who is going to take the ale of the fucking week. Who's going to take the L of the week? I already got, I already know who one person was thinking, but you know, y'all know we got to vote on this collectively. Okay, we got one for the Jacksons. Who, who, who else y'all think took an L this week? The Jacksons, def they, they definitely did take an L now. You know, Jackson. <laughs> Mariah, sorry, yes. Okay, so Mariah's siblings, we got one for them, three for the Jackson. <laughs> Say, Mar Mariah's sorry, ass siblings. Come on, bro. Okay, well, I think that um, it's going to the Jackson estate. So, whew. Shit, that, that, that right there, I mean, and what I want to do is at the very end of this year, Towards the end, do a trending topics. And actually, because I'll probably do another end of the year blab and we can kind of do like a roll up of the year. Because I want us to sit here and talk about who we think just going to take the L of the fucking year. I think that right there is possibly going to be the L of the fucking year. But we'll see. We'll see. So who is the winner of this week? Now, my personal vote, I, I'm tied between Mariah paying her family dust and Amber for trying to get that, trying to get them, you know, them deep pockets. But who y'all think is going to take the win of the week? Hell, I mean, y'all could even say Sierra shit because Sierra is getting hit all day long. But 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 who but who who who's winning this week? Mar Mariah winning. Okay, we got one for Mariah. Try to see who y'all think winning. Okay, two for Amber. One for Mariah. All right, well, I get I guess it's Amber. <clears throat> so the L this week is to the Jackson Estate. Amber Rose takes the W4 this week. Also, if you... Oh, <laughs> husband hard. Also, you guys remember, if there are any topics that you guys want me to talk about, even if it's like regular news, if you guys uh, send it to me, whether it be IG, Twitter, email, whatever, it makes it easier, you know, to keep these from being one-sided, you know. But I did think that some of this was entertaining. A lot of the other news that was out there is just a little too, a little too depressing for my taste. And I'm not trying to have everybody on here depressed, nor am I trying. Well, sometime I like for us to get crunk over here. I think this was a mild week, a mild episode, but that's fine. You know, I don't always have to be turned all the way to fuck up and overly animated. So, But I will say, you guys, this video will probably be up later this week. <clears throat> um, in between Tuesday and Friday. I, I, I like to leave it up so people can, you know, kind of watch if they missed it, then it'll be on YouTube later on. Um, also, don't forget the Real Housewives of Atlanta season, uh, well, I'm sorry, um, the reunion part one airs tonight. 
along with uh, Potomac, the reunion part one for Love and Hip Hop is tomorrow. So y'all stay tuned because y'all know I got to review it. Y'all y'all know how it is. Y'all know how I do. So that's all I got. I really, really want to thank you guys for watching. So please, uh, this is going to be on YouTube. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys next week. And uh, yeah, let's have fun. You all have a blessed Sunday. All right, y'all. Bye.